10 tips, 10 days, day two, tip two. Reconnect with your core values. So yesterday we slowly hiked into the mountains. We made our way to a mountain inn and enjoyed the quiet, enjoyed the absence of the internet of connection to a phone service and slowly slowly came into a rhythm that allowed us to le almost leisurely make our way up high up into the mountains to a mountain in where we spent the night and it was an early night because in those mountain inns usually lights out and at least quiet is expected around 10 10 p.m but before that you had a schnitzel and this schnitzel this wiener schnitzel was the best you've ever had something about being outside the whole day, moving the whole day, breathing, oh, excuse me, breathing in the fresh air, it just made, something about it made that schnitzel taste different, as if you had worked for it and deserved a schnitzel as good as that one. You saw the sunset, the moon and the stars come up over the mountains and even though there was no light there were no lights you could still make out a lot of things you could still see the contours of the mountains you could still see water glistening in the moonlight it was special and since you went to bed so early, you can't remember the last time you went to bed so early. You woke up early too. And that made for a possibility to see the sunrise as well. Now, if you've never seen the sunrise over the mountains, that, excuse me, is something that you should see at least once in your life. Because there's something special about the sun slowly coming up over the horizon and touching these summits that you can see around you. So now that you've left behind much of what you brought with you, your to-do list, the constant phone calls, people running in and out of your office bringing you problems and asking for solutions, there is now room in your head, hang on, for other things. Morgen. Lika. Servus. Hello. So now there's room in your head for new things, for new ideas, for inspiration, for surprising solutions, but most importantly right now, for thinking about the things that are truly important and for getting clear about the things that are truly important to you. Now, your core values, they are the foundation beneath the vision that you have for your life, your career, your business, or all three of them. They are also what make you you, what makes your business your business. I don't believe that our values are a derivative of our vision. Our vision are a derivative of our values. So, what are your core values? And why do I ask? I ask because I found that when you are so consumed by everything that's happening in everyday life, it's very easy to drift away from your core values and to take on values that aren't necessarily yours. 
that belong to other people. And when you then at some point stop, and I was gonna say, smell the roses, you might find that the roses that you're smelling are not your roses. You are on track towards realizing somebody else's vision. When you've got a business, you may be, you may have been comparing yourself with others who are maybe in a similar field, but doing different things. And you've been copying them. But their vision is different from yours. And in copying them, you are trying to do something that is not in alignment with your vision. Or you simply become, up, become caught up in the doing of everyday life. That you... Maybe you've come to a halt on the trail that is still leading to your vision, but you're not quite sure. So reconnect with those core values. And if you don't know what your core values are, if you can't remember what your core values are, take time out, as I said on day one. Take time out and spend some time figuring out what they are. And if you don't have time, or you think you don't have time, to do that by taking a couple of days off, and taking yourself out of your everyday environment, at the very least, Google how to find my core values, how to find my values, download one of the many lists, and start scratching off everything that isn't yours, until you're left with three to five values that are actually at your core, that make you you, that make your business your business and that are beneath that form the foundation of your vision and as you reconnect with your core values be aware or become aware of the values that you've taken on but that aren't yours and if that's the case see if you can ditch those values and replace them with some of your own maybe not immediately I'm not promoting that you do anything drastic but reconnect with your core values and make them, put them back at the heart of who you are, at the heart of what your business is, at the heart of your business. And tomorrow, we're gonna look at boundaries. As always, go there greatly.